two. And oh. we should be live, I believe. We'll find out. Hey -o! Yeah, okay. We uh, should be live. We did it, guys. Welcome. Martin is live. We did it, boys. World's worst podcast. Number Not four. as impressive as the <laughs> Number four. <laughs> that was impressive as that space launch, but we're here. That was that was pretty good, dude. That was pretty good. How many space? Launches? I didn't watch it. What number of space launch was that from from uh, SpaceX? Does anybody know? Um, the first 69. one that's not organized. But did, no, they shot a bunch of more rockets. Remember, they landed that one rocket that landed back on the on the the plate in the ocean. They did that. That was pretty sick. Yeah. And they shot a bunch of other rockets. I, I was just saying. Just I was trying to compare like the amount of rockets one. that they've launched, the amount of shit podcasts that we've done. You know what I mean? And yeah. eventually, we'll launch a podcast into space. I think this one was like super. Um, like, hey, kind of. Chappy's already in the chat. Exactly he was people. just waiting. This is the first. Dude, he was I just hanging out. I guess it's like out. one of the first organizations to do that aside from like nasa and other major space organizations really? to actually launch people with it so that was the major breakthrough thing the fact that oh. there was actually astronauts on board and it wasn't nasa doing it it was that's... fucking space yeah okay that's fucking badass then yeah that's yeah. really cool the only other thing is i don't know if you saw the uh there was a starship um like prototype that blew up on friday is it a really? Jefferson Starship? Yeah, so those astronauts were getting into that thing like not even 24 hours <laughs> after like, another. Oh, like, it, shit. I mean, granted, it's a completely different one that's not tested and not, you know what I mean? Right. They haven't done as much stuff. It's like one of their, I think it's the one that's supposed to go to Mars or whatever, that Starship. Oh, but, okay, um, so it's like the yeah, Jefferson like, Starship. Like, like, huge explosion video that. Of that. If you look that up, you just look up like SpaceX explosion or SpaceX accident, you'll see that video and it's fucking huge explosion oh my god Whoops. i can't i couldn't see a uh, a rocket ship blowing up being like a tiny little thing you know what i mean i could see no, it being a pretty no, pretty substantial yeah. event that, <laughs> that seems <laughs> that seems pretty large to me there's a lot of fuel sitting in that motherfucker just waiting to go oh off. yeah well kieran's the freezing chips. up the chips oh kieran oh. disconnected good good Whoa, start chappy is in the chat right away that was quick he just waits for us. He misses us. I love Chappie. Chappie's the best. He's like, why were you here on yeah. Friday? How's your I waited week? so long. How, how's your week been, Chappie? I'm sorry we betrayed you. I'm sorry we did that. We still love you. Never forget that. There's that explosion in the chat. Oh, Kieran. Oh, shit. In the Discord. I saw, um, Kieran, I saw you were playing fucking Raptor Call of the Shadows. That's that's awesome. I've been playing that. Yeah, that's. I know I saw you were playing that I'm, on, I'm, on I'm, Discord. I'm playing that. That's so badass, dude. <laughs> I haven't seen that game in fucking years, dude. That's so cool that you actually like know what that Elon is. Elon Musk just pulls like a million dollars out of his pocket, well, not a million more, and just burns have, it. He's like, "Well, there goes that money." Have you ever seen that game, Brennan? That old one. <laughs> what one? Uh, Sorry? Raptor: Call of the Shadows. It's called. It's like an old MS DOS not game. By name. No, it's really Shadow cool. it's like Legends. A, it's like one of those like top down fucking like airplane. You know what I mean? Like you're like above the plane. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you like get money and shit, and you gotta like upgrade your plane every level. Yeah, it's oh, okay, a fucking, yeah. It's a sweet. Who was game. playing that? Uh, Kieran was. Sweet. So I was just like, oh. yeah, man, that, that game was fucking, fucking sweet. I have one of those for like the old uh, NES. My laptop just shit the bed. Oh really? Well, oh, peace out, one. laptop. Hopefully your phone kicks in, stays uh, stays functional. It seems to be okay so far. You locked up a little. Well, now and you seem to be a little frozen now again. Never mind. <laughs> As I it's say, like he's it. staring into our soul. Right into my soul. Yeah, yeah. So deeply, dude. I'm being judged. I can't even. I can't even stand it. Yeah, but that's awesome. That Raptor game is really cool. Those old games are great, like that. Especially that one. That one's a really good game. It's so fun. Man. That one's. Good. I have uh, all the achievements and beat it. <laughs> That doesn't surprise me. You're one of those yeah. like, crazy. Except for one, or... destroy all. Yeah, it's a you, you, uh, you you go fucking hard on the on the achievements. So didn't you do uh, Dead Space and Dead Space Two like all the way through? That's ridiculous. That's an insane amount of grinding. I had this buddy from high school, and he was a huge achievement whore all on three. Xbox, and he had like three hundred thousand games or some bullshit. Dude, that's an, all three. Jesus, but did you say three hundred thousand gamer points? Yeah, because he would Christ. like. If you could exchange like that lists. for currency, that guy would be happier than he is. There's like lists. Yeah, no shit. There's lists that have like the easiest that's games nice. to get a thousand gamers score up, and he had played all of them. <laughs> that that's amazing. I, I can respect the commitment to the grind. You know what I mean? Just the fact that he was like willing to go out of his way to only purchase games that are like easily obtainable gamer score. It's like <laughs> I don't care that this is a horrible game, and I'm not having any fun playing it. I'll fucking After sink my score. twelve hours. I will get worked, that platinum. He worked at Walmart, so he got discount. So he just got video games for really cheap. Bastard, that's a good deal. I never, I never got anything like that. 
I don't think I should be admitting to this. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna. Not, I'm, just, I'm not gonna say this story in a public setting. I'm gonna save this for another. Save this for another. You sign up for our OnlyFans. And you can hear all my stories of illegalities and. Uh, yeah, it'll be a good time. Martin, but in a public setting, Martin's not admitting or working at, uh, this is this is not an admission to any crime, and uh, it's not an acknowledgement of any crimes that may have been committed in the past. But <laughs> I may have been privy to someone <laughs> who may or may not have worked at a Zeller's when he was fourteen or fifteen, something like that. Maybe, just saying, maybe. I'm not saying I did. Just saying, maybe. Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe it was me. Maybe it was Brendan. We don't know. But maybe this guy had access to the. Uh, to the shit that came in, like through the trucks and the delivery from the UPS guys and stuff. And maybe it was this guy's job to scan the stuff with the gun and tell the store that it came in. And maybe Allegedly. sometimes this guy didn't scan a box or two and he would just say that the UPS guy <laughs> didn't drop it off. And then maybe he would just take those games home and play them. Maybe. But again, this is not an admission of any wrongdoing or guilt. So, uh, yeah, you know. But that was, a, that was a good time, man. I never got any discounts on anything when I worked, or may have worked at Zeller's. Just, just a five, five finger one. <laughs> <laughs> that was Zeller's, I think I recovered that fumble nicely. <laughs> oh, dude, that thing. Allegedly. Does anybody hear my phone Allegedly worked at Zeller's. Phone calling? <laughs> Picking those up like a motherfucker. Oh, guess what time it is? It's Tarkov talk time. Do you guys know what happened this week in Tarkov? The hey! wipe! The wipe! It's a yeah. new, it's a new dawn, it's a new day in Tarkov, gentlemen. All I, yeah. the characters have been equalized. The great communist revolution has occurred, and all the wealth has been redistributed back to its basic means. Everyone <laughs> has no the longer same. the only poor scrub. He's not, dude. He's the same as all of it. We're all horrible. Oh, they, we can't they do reset shit. Everything? I have an yeah. equal chance in a so, gunfight ninety percent of the <laughs> time. Of, now it's just up to my lack of skills and abilities that yeah, are Yeah, now it's me. just my problem. So. <laughs> Yeah, so in Tarkov, every couple of months they do like a major update with like a like a fundamental change to either the game itself or like the engine. And like uh, this time they did the the audio engine, so they like completely revamped mm -hmm. the way like the sound works and shit. It's fucking incredibly better. But uh, yeah, so because they had that big update coming, they were like forced to do the wipe. And then yeah, the wipe just means like everything you've earned in the last like five months, all your levels, all your skills, all your gear, just all fucking boop, into the nether, back yep. to Nikita's Restart. pockets. You, you like that AK that you collect from your hideout? There? Yeah, Is all your hideout books? reset? Oh, no, everything gone. You, you have a nice oh, yeah. hideout you have there. Level 4, everything. I think what's the Fine. only thing left gone. is like your knowledge of inspected Yeah, and your uh, items your, your and then your presets. item sets. Your presets, yeah. yeah. Your gun presets. That's but it. other than that, fucking gonzo, dude. Into the yeah. wind. Fresh start. Got to get the pocket. It's nice watch though. Back. It's really nice. Like it sounds like a really like to most people, it sounds like a shit mechanic to a game. Like oh, every couple months your yeah. your game just restarts, and it's like, <laughs> man, because every couple months there's you know all these players that get up and have you know just like infinite gear and cash, and you're always yeah, you man, know like me, like there's always a big gap in like these players, like yeah. uh, you know like in the players and stuff, but it always like brings everyone back down to zero and. And for the people that are really good, they get up to that point, and you know, there's, then there's nothing to do, right? You it's get up to like boring. level whatever, yeah. and then you've got all the tasks done, everything. You've got all the gear, and it's just like, what do I do? Yeah, you have like an unlimited <laughs> so, amount of money, basically. Like I had by the end of it, I think I had like 12 million rubles in the game. Oh yeah, which is like an obscene. The amount last of money. couple of days we played, you so just like, like sent me like millions of dollars. Yeah, I was just like, here, Brian, here, oh, take this, take like, this, have fun. Put a health pack up for two million dollars. I'll just give it to you. And you're like, oh, yeah, oh okay. I'm like, hey, money, the... money for everyone. I was like going into raids with like on the last day, I had like backpacks full of just like grenades and shit that I would like run out with no gear just intentionally to get killed so like people would find the backpack full of like random shit it's like i had a backpack full of like pistol bullets like garbage hollow point bullets and shit like thousands of these fucking rounds you know what i mean it's <laughs> so, like somebody has to take the time to like go through each of those piles of bullets oh and my god them all. yeah it's like, maybe one of these piles will be something good <laughs> it's not <laughs> it never is <laughs> but yeah so that's uh that's your weekly tarpov uh, update because i know you guys have been clamoring at the teeth just sitting there in your oh, houses yeah. man just like oh my god what is happening in tarkov and uh, that audio oh update, my though, that god is fucking something yeah, that's fucking that's solid really but now you, you guys want to see something that's cool? a huge step oh is it your penis i hope it's your penis peter is stuck in a loop of restarting and i kind of hit it and now it's doing this oh yeah that's <laughs> oh yeah, shit nice. that's a good sign that's i think that's what you <laughs> do want you mean that's, uh, Do I need a new laptop? No, I think it's fine. You should try closing. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. shutting it off. Yeah, just try closing it and opening it. I'm pretty sure that fixes most laptop problems. Just, just blowing it. 
Jesus. I'm holding oh, the power button down and it's not do oh well there we go. The power button has turned it off. Okay, good start, good start. Chappie says oh, yeah, the that's biggest a good thing point. he hates about Call of Duty. Is yeah. If you buy the game late, you're fucked. That's so true too. Because I used to do that with Call of Duty games where I would buy them used or whatever. And oh, nice. You have startup. Yeah, you know, good start. But yeah, I would do that all but, the time. I'd buy them like a year later or something when they go on sale used. Oh yeah. And then it was just fucking such a waste of your time because it's like yeah, everybody has like every stupid thing unlocked and they're so much farther ahead of you and they have so much more knowledge than you do, and I'm so stupid that I can't catch up to them. And then. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the dream is just over, dude. I don't find it fun to be, like, masochistically punished by a fucking 12-year-old that's clearly on Ritalin and has way better skills than I do. I don't need that in my life, dude. I play video games to feel good about me and to escape this mm -hmm. reality, not to have fucking children insult me. <laughs> Shit on by kids. Call of Duty. Children fucking what? your mom. That's why I don't play Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Guys like Jared out there talking about how he fucked my wife. I don't even have a wife. <laughs> After care. beating you at Fortnite, fucking relentless. I'm gonna find you a nice lady. You're gonna fall in love, and then I'm gonna fuck. Her. Nice. That sounded, that sounded really nice up until the part when you fucked her. <laughs> <laughs> I was really down with that whole plan, man. But uh, yeah, do you guys? Uh, do you guys? You see some of those news articles that I linked you guys? Did, did no. you see? Some, you didn't see any of those? I put them all in oh, yeah. the uh, in the group chat. There. No, I did. I oh, did. Yeah. Okay. There's, uh, I there's saw some, them. There's some good ones. <laughs> so hold on, I'm just yeah. gonna switch over here, and uh, there we go. Also, so the COVID laptop. Oh, fucking the Planet of the Apes, right? Oh that's, yeah, that's the first <laughs> one. Awesome. Jesus H Christ in the much. highest, man. That's probably the coolest thing. So I got the article open here, so everybody can see it on Facebook. It doesn't really matter. I'll just read the little headlines, and we can all follow along and laugh at it, right? So, monkey runs away with COVID-19 test samples after attacking lab worker in Marut. <laughs> a group of monkeys on Friday attacked the lab technician in Marut Medical College where he was carrying test samples and swab kits taken from su suspected patients. In a video tweeted by a journalist, the monkey snatched away the swab kits of three patients and escaped before the lab technician could do anything. The patient said, this is my favorite part, the patients had to redo the test. A report says that the monkeys were later found chewing on the samples on top of trees. So they're just like, Holy their main shit. concern was re-swabbing the people. Like, ah, we'll find them. Like, whatever, man, they're already gone. Have you ever tried <laughs> to catch them. a monkey with a COVID sample? We can't get him right now. He'll wear himself out later. Get over here. We got to stick this fucking nine inch swab back up your brain again. Monkeys are apparently quite common within the college campus. But this, but with this incident, locals are afraid that this could spread the infection. <laughs> I have to agree with the locals on that one. I feel like if there was a monkey loose in my country that was stealing COVID samples and chewing on them, I'd be pretty fucking nervous too. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. But um, that's yeah. like, okay, now this is, that's a potential start to the planet of the apes, right? Because we know that the COVID virus kills humans. That's pretty well confirmed and documented, right? What does it do to an if ape? you're a bitch. Nice. You fixed it. You I hit my computer it. and fixed it. That's amazing. And fixed it with a punch. <laughs> Take that, IT field. I, I, I punched my computer and it's working again. That's pretty spectacular. That's how we did it back yeah. in the 90s, boys. So we know, what, we know what that does to humans, but we don't know what it does to monkeys, right? So what if these monkeys, like, chewing on those samples in the treetops, like, the little fucking critters that they are, end up being super intelligent and shit, dude? You know what I mean? Monkeys. What if that's the effect? Yeah, screw monkeys. I'm going to say it only right now to our welcome. I, I, for one, welcome our monkey overlords that are hyper intelligent. I just want it to be said right <laughs> now that Jared is not into necessarily sands. the representative views of the World's Worst Podcast in, as a whole. I personally support our monkey overlords and welcome your reign. They're gonna be <laughs> so, sayings, yeah. dude. We'll see who's fucking laughing I have when they come to you guys. Apart. But uh, that was a good time. I really enjoyed that headline. That one made me chuckle like a motherfucker. There was a couple Did other. Did you hear ones. about the tiger? Which tiger? Uh, some like Mexican drug lord had a tiger and it got out. Oh, so there's like these fucking guys trying to like wrangle it up, like <laughs> literally Mexican cowboys trying to lasso a tiger <laughs> in the street. <laughs> I feel like they're out of their element. There's a video of it. I feel like any cowboy who's trying to fight a tiger is really outside of his element. A Mexican you cowboy? You can't lasso a fucking jungle cat, dude. That's not how that works. That's crazy. I like the effort. Like, I got him. I let you get close and it just rips your fucking yeah. face off. You don't got him. You don't got him at all, apparently. Yeah, it turns out you don't got this. There was, yeah, so that was the monkey one. There was, a, there was a couple other ones that I had highlighted that I really, really enjoyed this week that I had to chuckle at. Just the fucking headline. 
man hired for sexual fantasy breaks into wrong house. Right? So you can just take that for whatever you want it to be right, <laughs> right off the bat. But I can fucking guarantee that this story oh, is going to yeah. get way more interesting than you think it's going to, right? Oh, this comes straight out of Australia, too, of course. Fucking land of Mad Max and insanity. In it's a sex fantasy boring, gone wrong, two men with machetes entered the wrong house in New South Wales, Australia before very oh quickly realizing their error. One of them has now been acquitted of entering a home armed with a weapon, says Australian media reports. They had been hired to carry out a client's fantasy of being tied up in his underwear and stroked with a broom. <laughs> what does hey. stroked mean? <laughs> All right. Is it like like the bristled end r rubbing on his penis? Or is it like the the the, the long, happy end going inside his woohoo? I imagine curling. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I didn't even can Yeah, okay. Either way. We don't need the details. It's minute. It's, you know what I mean? It's not the details that make the story fun. The judge concluded that the facts of this case are unusual. <laughs> the role play was arranged over Facebook by a man near Griffith, blah, 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 blah. That doesn't matter. He was willing to pay $5,000. Oh, is it dollar reduced? Oh, yeah, I think they have dollar reduced. $5,000 dollar reduced. Dollar reduced. Dollar reduced. If, it was, if it was really good. However, the client moved to another address 50 kilometers away without updating the two men when they then entered the wrong address at the original home. So the He's just trying to fuck with whoever moved Literally. It. So he hires these two guys being like, well, I mean, I just really want somebody to just break into my fucking house, just tie me to the fucking chair, just fuck my shit up. And he's like, and then two weeks later decides that he's going to move down the street and not tell the people that not I assume tell he, them. he already prepaid for it too, because this doesn't seem like something you just pay for up front. Or you, know, you know what I mean? Like you don't just pay for it while it's happening. That's a booking. You know what I mean? You don't just get a DJ at your wedding and pay him on the day. Yeah, that's no, no that's that you that's prearranged. So you're a dick. Yeah. First of all, I think the real asshole in the story here is the guy that moved fucking 50 kilometers down. the. That's not even I'm a close notifying. distance. 50 <laughs> kilometers. That's like three cities away. You're a, that's <laughs> fucked. That's absolutely insane. But uh, yeah, so that was a good time. And uh, yeah, they walked in, right? And then uh, when the man called out the name of their client, the resident turned on the light and removed a sleep apnea mask he was wearing. It was then said that he saw them standing above his bed with the machetes, which they appeared to have brought as props for the role play. How festive. When they realized their, er their error, one of the pair said, sorry, mate, and shook the resident's hand. <laughs> the two All men right. then drove to the correct address. <laughs> That's my favorite, the fact that they, like, got it together and be like, all right, well, we sorted this out. Let's go. And right down the road to the right guy's house that they were supposed to fucking kidnap with the machetes and do, and what, it out. do whatever they were supposed to do with with a broom. But, yeah, I thought that was pretty good. But, thankfully, they, they got acquitted. You know what I mean? So, that's pretty good news because that would have been pretty fucking terrible if those poor guys ended up getting, uh, getting charged for, like, breaking and entering with a machete in their hand. You know what I mean? He's like, no, man, the guy wanted me to help him. Calm. I swear to God. <laughs> sure he did that's what everybody says that's what they all the say machete. yeah we uh we totally believe you but uh <laughs> yeah i thought that was a pretty good story man that one that one that one killed me pretty good but uh if only we could all be so lucky you know we should <laughs> have someone break in our house two men with machetes wielding in a broom ready to penetrate that seems like it could go interesting dude. sounds like a good tuesday I can see Jared being one of the guys. <laughs> Wait, where, where's your wife? I, play? <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm saying, where's your wife? <laughs> <laughs> There's, there were so many good news stories this week, dude. I got one more before we'll go on to something else here. Drunken man passed out on a raft drift seven miles down Indiana River before being rescued near a dam. <laughs> it sounds like that episode of King yeah. of the Hill. When Boomhauer passes out, literally and he floats into the city, That's and they exactly. lock him up in the insane asylum. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what I thought it was. Yeah, just just a fucking oh just God. a drunk dude just floating down the Indiana River for more than seven miles before he was rescued by DNR conservation officers and a sheriff's deputy. They said that they very sure, likely boy. saved the man's life since he was passed out in a raft with a bottle of rum in his lap as he approached the Midtown <laughs> Dam. That sounds like some fucking Tom Sawyer good time shit to me. You know what I mean? Get a little <laughs> bucket of whitewash in your little raft there. Take a break on the side of the creek. Have a drink. Wash your face. <laughs> this guy's living the life, dude. Maybe he wanted to die, too. That's, that's the whole thing I read about this. You know what I mean? He was just drifting off down the river on his little fucking dream raft with a bottle of rum in his lap, calling it a day. 
right into that beautiful horizon, just going off oh, into the gray day. havens like fucking Bilbo. You know what I mean? <laughs> But then these fucking goddamn conservation people had to be like, no, Bilbo, you're not welcome in the Undying Lands. You have to go back to the Shire, you 107-year-old fuck. No, sorry, he was like 111 <laughs> on his birthday. And then they sat in the Shire for like 40 years before fucking Frodo got off his ass to do anything yeah, about that Yeah, I was going to say, that shit was like so much time actually that passed. Yeah, it's, it was like 40-something. I don't know, no, Frodo, yeah. Frodo, it was like 13 years. Frodo was like 40-something when he left the Shire, finally. Got his shit together and be like, all right, yeah. I guess I'll fucking do something about this world-threatening ring. Oh. Yeah. Like, gee, I mean, if your fucking uncle wasn't a selfish piece of shit stealing it from a crackhead in a cave, it wouldn't be a fucking problem, dude. Fucking Bilbo's the whole cause of this problem, if you really think about it. You know what I mean? He stole that thing and then tricked Gollum. What's in my pocket? That's not a fair question. That's not a quiz question. If I set up a quiz question like that and the answer, you guys would all be pissed. I, the, the fucking... <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't that. be, you don't know. Poor Gollum. That's not fair, dude. He got, he got shafted on that. Real bad. All he did was, all he ever did was pour, fucking choke poor, what was his name, Dreamel? I think I think that was his name. Just choked him real good. He just wanted that ring. It was his birthday. He deserved it, dude. But they wouldn't give him that fucking ring. So he fucking got a hold of him and he fucking showed him what's what, dude. You give some like, It's his birthday. I'll show you a ring. He wants his birthday. It's my Showed birthday. him a ring. You should give it to me. It's my birthday. And then he didn't. He said no because he was all transfixed by the ring, all fucking dumb in the head. He wasn't smart. And then he killed him. <laughs> Then he killed him. All dumb in the head. All fucking dumb in the head from the ring, dude. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. He's got that retardations. That ring tardation, man. You just can't escape it once you put ring it on tardation. for a while. True angel of ring Hopwood. It's my homie True. That's 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 probably the coolest name that I've ever heard. If your name is legitimately True, name. I'll give you a dollar. It is. No, it's not. It's a lot of money. I know, I don't have a dollar. It was a bluff. I was really hoping that he would say that it wasn't. That, just, that didn't work out at all for me the way I was planning. All right, guys, what do you think? Should we do a couple of trivias? Trivia! Break things up a little bit. Hold on, I got to change. The first question, we've the all OBS seen it like here. eight times. <laughs> it's the easiest question on the planet. Is it I don't the mean movie? we've seen the movie. I mean we've seen the question eight million times from yes. testing it. Yes, yes. That's what he meant. Okay, maybe properties. I have some movie. You don't know. I need to change this to this. I think. Or wait, no, hold on. First, we'll change it to to that. True wants one of us to do a flip. There I think go. the closest we can do is Brendan doing a kickflip. Okay. Brendan, do a kickflip. Brendan, do a kickflip. <laughs> do a kickflip. Kick probably could. My skateboard's in the other room. <laughs> hey. I actually might be able to. Oh shit! Now I kind of want to. <laughs> well, go get your fucking skateboard. Do a fucking kickflip. Jesus Christ! You your board just launches into your brand new tower. Mm -hmm. Smash! Smash. Ball. Yeah, maybe not. I mean, it is up on Pussy. the table. <laughs> All right, you guys. You guys got your Where quizzes are you venturing open. To here? Maybe I'll open your after. fucking quiz. You will. Ooh, Ooh, it's not that intricate. It's really the answer is quite simple. It's like give me two or three beers, and you can enter anything you want. <laughs> All right, it is on the question. And all right, you're ready you too, Brennan. You're all set up. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. You're good, Kieran. Do you have your quiz open? Open. Mm, okay. Okay. What breed of dog was Mar was Marley in the film Marley and Me? Batman. Golden Retriever. Jared got it. He buzzed. Jared buzzed. I buzzed. How do you buzz again? Oh yeah, you just gotta say. You your say name. your name. Or just, uh, or just anything, really. Well, I was like, and so I said Batman. I it's a little uh, anything. It's a little Easter egg for our shit flicks uh, follower. Uh, all three of you out there. So what was it? Including yeah, wait, wait. me, Brendan, and Martin. He's yeah. a golden retriever, you guys. No, it's it's a, it was a lab. lab. It's not a golden retriever. He's not. No, okay, buzz. Yeah, it's a lab. Oh, Kieran buzzed. Uh, hey. ah. Kieran got it. He buzzed it. Okay, so we're just going to do every question is worth 100 points, just to keep it simple. Cool. Jared, Brandon, Kieran Same has shit. 100 points. Okay, so yeah, just click at the top question. It should go to the next question. Did it work? Yeah. All right. Which of the following is not the name of a Bond girl? Me. Brandon? <laughs> Me. Um. Kieran knows the answer. <laughs> Mary, good night. <laughs> Wrong. I just, I just wanted to steal it from someone. I want to say Pam Bouvier, but wrong. 
<laughs> I'm going to say Vanessa Kensington. That's correct. That's the chick from Austin Powers. Oh, God. I was hoping we'd just all get it wrong. Vanessa Kensington oh, is the chick that Vanessa. he marries with the machine gun jubblies. It's yes. funny. I was going to say that at first. but All right. Next question. Which of the following movies was not based on a novel by Stephen King? That skeletal Jared, bastard. Jared. Okay. Me, 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 me. Jared got it. Yeah. Jared hit it. The, the thing. The thing. No. Jared. No, Jared. He, he got Jared. it. He's right. The thing is yeah, not a novel by Stephen King. Huh. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I can't so offended. Damn the it. first movie came out in like the 50s. Okay. So 80s. Jared got that one. Nobody got the last one, right? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Next I got question. the Vanessa one. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, Jared you did. That's right. So you got 200 points. Sorry, Jared. I'm trying to scam you. <laughs> oh, good, bro. All right. And you were worried Ryan about Ryan McGregor yeah, right. says, sup, sluts. What's up, dude? Which movie released in 2016 features Superman really? and Batman fighting? Wow, that's a t- fucking tough question. <laughs> Kieran? Kieran. Uh, is it, it Batman versus Superman: Dawn of Justice? I no, it's Super it Apocalypse. Is <laughs> correct. It's Batman versus Superman: Super Apocalypse. Super Apocalypse. <laughs> that's so much better, dude. That's what they should have called it. Maybe that's what they'll call the Schneider cut: Batman versus Super cut or Batman versus Superman: Schneider Apocalypse. I'll watch that movie. All right, next question. Oh, whoever made this just watches all the movies. Apparently. I know, right? Daniel Radcliffe became a global Maybe. star in the. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, well, you. <laughs> Harry I know Potter. You just at any point. <laughs> Harry Potter. I don't know. I think he was in Spy Kids. I didn't even need the multiple <laughs> choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what you do need to do, Brennan? You need to fucking buzz in. Next question. <laughs> Who starred as Bruce Wayne and Batman in Tim Burton's 1989 movie Batman? Right. Yep. Michael Keaton. Bam. That is correct. All right. We got a score recap. Kieran's at 300. Jared's at 300. Nice even split. Oh, and Brendan's at zero. I assume Brendan knew that he was at zero. He didn't need me to rub that into his face, even though he knows. He knows the fact that he's got no points. He's got nothing at all going on. It's not a big deal, though. <laughs> all right. Next question. What name did Tom Fuck Hanks you, give? Fuck you. It's me. Fuck oh. off. It's Wilson. Boom. Nice. <laughs> Brent, I have a hand up way for you. He didn't even give a fuck. <laughs> to be fair, you oh, gotta make noise and I'm not watching the screen. There's no order right, here. Next question. What is the highest grossing film of all time without adjusting for inflation? Jared. Brennan. Oh, yeah, Brennan got it. Um, eh, um Endgame? Endgame? <laughs> it is. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Good job. They were okay, trying so to trick you. Nice. Yeah, was, uh, without it inflation, I was like, eh, I'd say Brennan's Avatar, fucking... but no, without it, then... Brennan's pulling it up, dude. More. He's pulling it up. 300 for Kieran, 300 for Jared, and 200 for Brennan, dude. That's only a, that's 100 points less. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shut up, Kieran. Which animated movie was the first to feature a celebrity as a voice actor? Oh, that's actually a pretty interesting question. Celebrity. Oh, Kieran, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have to say Aladdin. Aladdin? Yeah, you got it, dude. Yeah, I guess uh, Robin Williams then, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. I was like, I don't know when Hunchback came out. I don't fucking know. I, I knew know. it wasn't James the Giant Peach, and I knew it was going out after Aladdin. I know I didn't watch that uh, Aladdin. I didn't watch Hunchback of Notre Dame because that fucking mutant freaked me out when I was a kid. <laughs> All right, next. The answer was Aladdin because it was the oldest movie there. That, yeah, that's fair. That's a good good deduction you got going on there. <laughs> All right. Uh, when was the movie Con Air released? Jared. Jared. <laughs> uh, I'm getting close. 1997. 97 is the right answer. Yes. Put All down right. the bunny. Put okay. the bunny down, or whatever the fuck he says. Put the bunny down. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's awesome. That so care. good. I don't know why everybody hates it. All right. So we got our last question for right now before we're uh, we'll take a break. All right. Who wrote and directed the 1986 yeah. film Platoon? Kieran. Also oh, good movie. Is it Stanley Kubrick? It is not Stanley Kubrick. Who's next? Jared. Oh. Jared? Oliver Stone. It is Oliver Stone. Yeah. yeah. Good call. 
All right, ah, so we'll call it a break there. Like that. That's halfway through. That was eleven questions. I was like, I was like, hey, maybe it's Francis for Coppola. I don't fucking know. <laughs> so we got Brendan, uh, Brendan in third with two hundred. Uh, Jared in first with five hundred, and Karen trailing just a little bit behind with four hundred. So you guys are pretty, pretty, pretty close, mm. pretty close up on each other. You know, that's not too bad. But uh, yeah, that's just the random, random ass trivia. I didn't make that one. So uh, any gripes that you have are not being directed at me fuck yourself yeah mainly because i didn't make it and even if i did fuck you okay i'd like to see you make a better quiz in uh like 25 or 30 minutes or something when you fucking forgot that you didn't do it and then remember that you had to you couldn't that's do why anything. martin pushed us to saturday <laughs> yeah that's why that's what it was I need how was your day. return to work where you're not allowed uh, to go outside or have a smoke yeah pretty terrible pretty yeah, uh fun. pretty marginally like horrible um they have like assigned seatings and shit um, and you're not allowed to like leave the assigned seatings because we need traceability at all points of contact. Um, and then I guess all that information just gets like returned to the government. And that's where my like I understand it, but that's where my like conspiracy brain starts to get a little fucking weird about it because I'm like, oh yeah, just tracking my movements now, eh? Every fucking single one of them. Eh? What's the next step now, Mister Government yeah. Man? Yeah. But uh, isn't it is isn't China it is. implanting chips in people? I wouldn't be surprised if China's been doing that for much longer than COVID was a problem. I know I heard something about like phones. <laughs> That's not new. Monitored yeah, they're just like, activating them now. They're just <laughs> them on, They've yeah. been there the whole time. No, I never heard about that though. Why did you guys actually like hear that legitimately? Uh, Joe Rogan was talking about it like a couple weeks ago. That's crazy. I wouldn't be surprised, anyways. Like uh, China's been known to take some pretty extreme measures towards like you know safety of China <laughs> and whatnot, securing themselves. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be, like, super China's surprised. China's expensive, bro. You only China's, get that shit at weddings. China's worth, uh, yeah. yeah but it's, it's not easy, dude. You, get, you can't come across that. You need, like, old relatives that have either died or are dying or going out of their mind <laughs> and just handing out free shit. And then you can get yourself a nice <laughs> set of China plates. It's a good deal for everybody. But, uh, oh, I forgot where I was linking that back to. That was all going to tie back together in a nice little circle. But, yeah, <laughs> returning to work wasn't too, too bad. Like I said, I guess it was okay. But um, I'm not sure how long that's going to last for Martin. Because uh, that doesn't seem like a good thing. Just the fact that I can't, like, uh, go have a cigarette is, like, kind of maddening. Because, yeah, they made yeah. it so, like, you can't leave the building. Um, or, sorry, they made it so that you can't smoke on the property, right? Which was, like, yeah, no problem, whatever. Like, I don't have a problem going to the sidewalk for a smoke or whatever. I'll do that. And then they were just, like, oh, no, you can't leave the building. You're not allowed to leave the property. Because we pay mm. for your breaks. So, uh, because we pay for your breaks, you're not allowed to leave the property. Because if you leave the property, we're liable for you, apparently. So you have to sit in here at this table that we tell you to sit at, and you're not allowed to leave, and you're not allowed to go to the bathroom and sit in there. Like, you can go to the bathroom. You know, so you people know, so. never used to go and buy lunch at this place before? That well, was it's not like a cafeteria or anything. It's just like a bunch of tables and a couple of microwaves. You no, that, I mean? that's what I mean. Like, I'm sure people on their lunch break are like, I'm going to fucking go to make dicks or something, right? No, that never like, happened before. No, before you really? were still, yeah, because your breaks were paid before. You know what I mean? So you still weren't allowed that's... to leave for your breaks. But like That's still the assumptuism garbage. would be in the you idea that you would like provide the option if you're going to not let people, you know what I mean, go for a smoke, then you think you'd like have the option to not have a paid break maybe or like something of the yeah. alternative because it seems like right, don't pay me for a half hour. I'll yeah, I was like, you can, can like, also, legally do that. I don't know. But the thing is, it's yeah, like you sign on the dotted weird. line when you get a new job. Right. So like I'm pretty sure any of that shit's always like like there's it's a fucking giant yeah, corporation, right? Like do it. There's no way that they would like leave little participles dangling in yeah, the little no. sentence that is their agreement. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they got all that shit tied up. So like, yeah, yeah I'm no, sure it's like legal. Everything. Plus, we have to consider the fact that we uh, we're in a state of emergency in Ontario. Right. So like there's powers that are allotted to companies and you know government officials that like normally wouldn't be anywhere close to like being allowed you know what companies I mean? like, should not get any power during a state of emergency that's ridiculous it's a it's a double-edged sword though because at some points we need it right like when it comes to shutting down businesses and shit like that like you have to have the authority to be able to do that right now let's not yeah, get into the not debate the of company. whether or not well that's what i'm saying let's not get into the debate of whether or not they did that i'm saying that's why they need things like a state of emergency power okay. though right so if the government was more responsible because i agree they didn't act quick enough i don't think they did in the ontario government anyways right um but if if we didn't have the state of emergency, we wouldn't have been able to do the things that we did do, right? That's the whole problem because, like, it did mm -hmm. allow him to just be like, fuck you, uh, construction sites are closed, closed now. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. This is closed now. Like, I agree. It took too long to do. Should have been fucking weeks before. They never before. closed, though. They didn't close all of them, no. But they kept, like, there was certain infrastructure. That's the other side of it, too, though. Like, you can't just it's Essentially, what they days. did was any, any like, existing projects or ongoing projects, they had to wrap them up and finish them. Yeah. But all these contractors did is drag those projects out so long until they were allowed to go back. Right. And they but, just never stopped. But again, too, you can't really hold that. That building that's being built in my complex, they never actions. stopped working on it. Yeah, but again, that's asshole contractors, right? It's like if they're going to like mm -hmm. if the government because like it's only fair of the government to like allow right, reasonable contractors to finish the project that they're working on. Right now, a reasonable human would be like, all right, I'm going to finish this project and be fucking responsible. Take my guys off the job site and go home for a couple of weeks. Right. But then fucking asshole contracting companies are like, well, we could milk out another free week of work out of this. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck. That's really yeah, just points to me. And they're fucking just my It's like. Yeah, no, just like go back to my original point, they shouldn't have any power in that situation. They should be told what to do because they clearly don't listen. Oh, like the, the company <laughs> shouldn't have any power in that situation? Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. There's like, there's or like points, obviously but... to a certain extent. Right. That's, oh, that's every, what I was like, say. every morning it's, when um... I would go to walk to work, I would have to walk by like 15 construction workers all just huddled around each other, like getting ready yeah. to start work. Yeah. Oh, it's like, cool. it's, it's kind of insane. Yeah, but that's the thing, mm -hmm. right? It's exactly what you said. It's like it's the fine line between the two, between the dichotomy, right? Where it's like we need to be reasonable to like make everything safe and, you know, to like combat this disease and shit like that. But on the same aspect, you know what I mean? Like we do live in a country where like certain freedoms and shit like that are allotted and like are very well ingrained into the idea of what makes this country what it is. You know what I mean? Like the ability to like travel and shit like that. I'm not saying that I support it. I, I'm fucking on board with the page that you should be staying the fuck at home. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of those fucking morons that are like, end the fucking, end the lockdown. You know, no, fuck you. Continue the lockdown. Continue the lockdown for a fucking year. You know what I mean? I don't give a shit. But you know what I mean? Like, I can totally understand where these idiots are coming from when they're like, you have certain, you know, things that are ingrained in you that you're used to being able to do. And it's a fucking freedom that you're allotted. You know what I mean? Like, but sorry, certain times freedoms need to be suspended for the betterment of other ideas. You know what I mean? Especially when it comes to like general public safety and shit like that. Like, I guess it just really boils down to how selfish people are. It always does, right? In any situation, we can do all the, like, government um, regulation and intervention that we want, but it's, like, when it comes down to the point of, like, greedy fucking business owners and landlords and assholes, you know what I mean, that just take advantage of the fucking situation, what the yeah, fuck is everybody choose. supposed to do other than the fact of, like, turning us into a fucking, like, Nazi state, you know what I mean, where you literally, <laughs> like, you know what I mean, where you have to report to a fucking, you know what I mean, like, a, an official of the party kind of thing, you know what I mean, to get your approval to do certain things like that from the government. Because that's, like, the only real solution. And it's like, that's a gray line. That's a real fucking gray yeah. line. Because, like, holy shit, yeah. dude. But, yeah, it's and like it's so unprecedented, too, right? Like, <laughs> nothing like this has ever happened in modern history, obviously. You know what I mean? We can go back yeah. to the Spanish flu and all that shit. But uh, comparing this this outbreak to something like the Spanish flu is kind of a, like an apples and oranges comparison. When we're talking about the advancements in, like, medical <laughs> science and virology and shit like that that they clearly didn't have in fucking 1918. You know what I mean? So, like, we understand things a lot better than we do now. So, like, obviously death rates and shit like that are going to be much more... Um, much less comparable, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, we, don't have, that, we don't have anything the thing to base that compounds it. Right? So the thing that compounds it is just like that we have so much international travel and like oh, we are sure. so advanced. So like that's just advancing sure. it as well. The world's a way but smaller place it's... than it ever was, right? Like we're we're so much, like it's bigger than it ever was, but it's also smaller, right? In that aspect, things like international yeah. You can still go shit. get on a flight. It's crazy. Like, yeah. And that's you can still get on a flight. Airline companies like losing their minds and shit. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> And like it's it sucks too because there's like there's always that that argument of greed right where it's like it's an undeniable thing where all all you see is a corporation like bitching for money right but what we don't see is the other side of that where that corporation employs fifty five thousand people or or thirty thousand people who all have families and shit that depend on that paycheck you know what I mean mm -hmm. so it's like it's not so much all the time that it's like these companies that are being you know well it is that the companies are being bailed out but it's like it's not in the sense that we're thinking of it necessarily or maybe our mentality needs to be not so aggressive towards that idea. Because that does help a lot of people, right? Like when it comes to things I mean, like not, an airline company not going, like if fucking Western or WestJet or whatever it is, I don't know any airline companies. I'm just trying to name some big airline company, right? Yeah. Fucking uh, went out of business in the states. Like I can't imagine how many people would like literally just instantaneously lose their jobs. It was the same thing as the fucking GM shit, right? Back in what was that? West the, the problem with that though, right? Yeah, yeah go ahead, dude. So the, well, the problem with that, though, is they get those bailouts mm -hmm. and then instead of giving them to who they're supposed to give them to, they just keep them themselves and then still lay those people off. 
in a sense like yeah i agree with that i'll agree with that in a sense they definitely always do cutbacks right like that's the thing They'll, there's always like there's always like a downturn when it comes to like any kind of like economic bailout but i guess like the side effect of that is almost the fact that it kind of has to be the side of that it like is unarguable and i agree with you is like when you see like a ceo taking home a fucking three like a, or a, a three figure a six figure uh bonus that year <laughs> you know what i mean from like, when bucks. You, see, like, you know fucking <laughs> a thousand people got laid off from their company and this dickhead's going home with like a hundred thousand dollar bonus or whatever right it's like something's fucking wrong you know what i mean like that is clearly <laughs> not okay um but on that same aspect, yeah, a thousand people got laid off, but the 29 other thousand people got to keep their jobs or how, you know what I mean? However, other many there, were. it's, that's where it's like, there's always this gray area when it comes to these kinds of discussions where it's like, it's so fucking hard to actually come up with a fucking solution. Right. Cause like you're so What's damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, you help these companies, yeah. you help rich assholes, which does kind of help other people. You know what I mean? Cause like these people get to keep their jobs. It doesn't help them the way that it should or in any kind of a reason. Depends how much of an asshole they are yeah that's that is true uh, you're not wrong some companies are like really good right and like they actually like, take care of their people and shit like that there's like mm -hmm. um remember uh, vi uh video plus books in in stratford Kieran? they do yeah remember like video yeah. plus books even like it's not a good example of the COVID thing but remember when they were closing a couple of years ago um the yep. video plus books was a uh, video like a movie rental store in stratford i loved um, it yeah it was a great store but uh, you know how it went the way of the dinosaur like every other movie rental store right but the guy that owned that store was like such a good dude he fucking was he went to close the one one summer he was like i can't afford to do it anymore i'm just bleeding money right and then he had like all these people that worked for him and shit and they were like fuck like i don't i'm not gonna have a job like what am i gonna do and he fucking paid out of his own pocket to keep that fucking sinking business open for another year you know what I mean? So that they yeah. could all like find new jobs and like, you know, get their lives together and shit like that. So it wasn't such a fucking, it's like, that's a fucking, you know what I mean? That's the kind yeah. of guy you want to be given bailouts to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah, the kind of people, like that's where it would actually work out yeah. where it's like, you know, but there yeah. are some people I'd give money to. <laughs> For sure. There's, well, there's, it's just good people. Right. But that's the trick. And then you look at the studies too. And it's so, it's so fucking true. Most like CEOs and like large business owners and shit like that are fucking sociopaths. Like you have to be sociopathic and a little bit deranged to make it in a business world. You have to be fucking cutthroat. You can't have empathy oh, yeah. for people. You know what I mean? Like you have to be willing to do whatever the fuck it is that has to be done to get to the point that you want to be at. So it's like, yeah, you literally are a sociopath, right? So it's like now that this fucking literal sociopath is in control of everyone's well-being, that's probably not the guy you want to be like controlling a decision on everyone's future. You know what I mean? Or like where the money's going to go. It's like, ugh. yeah it's fucked man it's so fucked because yeah it's like it's just not even like a thing or sorry it's just a thing right like statistically most of those guys are like sociopathic and shit like it's like that's so fucking so, so weird like it's so interesting kind of makes sense i guess right like business is super like cutthroat and like relentless oh, yeah. and oh beyond cutthroat that's why i could never do that shit man i would never be able to like overcharge somebody like if i had any kind of a service you know what i mean like i would feel bad if i was like ripping somebody off or like, oh, like, you know, working off, like, I understand you hire an employee, right? Obviously, you're going to make some fucking money off the employee. They say I had a landscaping company, right? And uh, some client fucking paid me 10 grand to restone their driveway or some shit, right? Obviously, I'm going to hire some kid and pay him 14 bucks an hour to come help me move stones. You know what I mean? And I'm going to pocket mm -hmm. the rest of the money. That just makes yeah. sense. But it's like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to like, I'm not going to pay the kid 12, like, I'm not going to fucking Jorge, come here. weasel the kid out, you know what I mean? Exactly. And like go yeah. and hire some like person that I'm going to pay 12 bucks an hour to so I can make more money. You know what I mean? It's like, no, I'm going to do like the right thing, the normal right thing that there is to do. You know what I mean? It's like, if we get the job done faster than we wanted to, then we get extra money or something. You know what I mean? Like, or something cheaper because I want the money. That's the whole point. I'm, I want it. Not you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See? Sociopath. <laughs> That's where it all comes back to, dude. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, my week back has just been work and stuff. How's your guys' week been? You did anything interesting or just the same old, same old? How about you, Brandon? Um, yeah, it was, yeah, it was all right. Same old here. Oh, yeah. Nothing exciting under your guys' own? No fun work stories? They finally gave us masks. <laughs> Oh, that's not very I'm late at all. <laughs> oh, finally, eh? What's that? Three months into a three-month-long <laughs> epidemic? <laughs> and you know, <laughs> and you know why they gave us masks? Why is that? Because a health lady came in and was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ! Jesus uh, Christ! That's finally where they draw the line, eh? And they're like, "That's enough." Why is that? Uh, we got caught. 
<laughs> we got caught. We got now. We got it. Oh, yeah, they got us. They got yeah. us, guys. They fucking all right. All right, fine. Fine. Now we'll they, protect. They you. don't even like go and buy the mask. They just had him in the back. They're like, all right, fine. Open the box. Yeah, I was no, hoping to fucking take it. We were gonna return the them. That's yeah, they kept the receipt. Mark, like, that's a thing. Of course. See, they bring these the, are the mask, companies that don't like, need bailouts. And then somebody was like, somebody was like, oh, it turns out she's. They've had these masks for like three weeks. They're just gonna wait till June first or whatever. Oh, sure. Why? What happens on Fuck, June 1st? Dude. Is that the due date where the conspiracy theorists of all the Illuminati have decided that we're all going to no fucking idea. die? I have no idea. You, that's probably what it is. They're all getting together oh, and it's no. all fucking coming. It's because of, of the 5G. There's 5G towers are infecting us all. That's the problem that's going on here. That's the whole fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody considers... Nobody ever considers the fact that cell phone towers being put up at the same time that a virus develops in the world. That is not a coincidence. <laughs> That's what's going on, gentlemen. Nobody can. That's exactly that. how they sound. Yeah, man. Ridiculous. <laughs> All of them. He's Even the women. He's a like banner holder, dude, in the front there. I, I love that. your Alex Jones. That's like my favorite one. He's so good. He's such just a like, good dude, man. So can we make cool. a funny Alex Jones banner that we pop up every oh, now yeah, and then? Sure, just like. Dude. Any time. Yeah, I, like, I need like. Uh, they have these things Alex called a stream deck. And it's like a little box with yes. buttons. Yeah, and you can like program the buttons to do different things. So you can make like an overlay, like a, like an animation. And you like push the button. And we need like a ticker. Oh, yeah. Like they have on Sports Center with just a bunch of different Alex Jones quotes just or ridiculous shit in it. Bottom and shit like that. <laughs> Fluoride's turning the frogs gay. There you can is. have that's like my, sound effects too, like sound samples that'll come up to you. <laughs> right there, dude. Uh, the sorry guys, I got a, I got a dip early, unfortunately. Uh, that's all good, buddy. I will uh, be back again next week though, because it looks like my phone's working finally. Yeah, it yeah. seems to be a lot better off this week. That's for sure. I, I, I punched my computer awake, but it didn't want to download Discord, so <laughs> it got like halfway into the right direction. But yeah. Anyways. All right, I'll buddy. see you guys later. Yeah, man. Have a good rest of your night, man. And see you, you as well. Enjoy. All right, let's see. Now I got to recrop everything. Get us all set up again. Recrop it. Recrop. So that goes there like that. That goes like this. And then Jared comes over like this. And then we do this. Oh, yeah. See, you think that that's going to fuck me up, but it's not. <laughs> Joke's on you, boo. Okay, Guys, I got this twisted tea peach. Fucking What's that? Bomb. Is it like an iced tea? Yeah, it's yeah, peachy it's iced a tea. malt. It's a malt iced tea. It's got peach Man, flavor. those things are dangerously good because they like. I love iced tea, and they, they don't taste like alcohol. Like fucking iced tea, oh and then all of a sudden God. you've drank yeah, this like thirty peach. of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I yeah. the first one I was drinking was the half and half with like half. Uh, yeah, that's lemonade. Why would you drink a I've glass of half one's... and half? You're only supposed to put that in your coffee, dude. You gotta calm down. Dude. <laughs> You're gonna you fucking give yourself a heart attack, bro. You can't be drinking glasses of half and half. Just like you shouldn't be fucking people's wives. I know it's not going to stop you, but it's oh, not, not going to stop them. Are you kidding? It's me? never going to stop. One leads to the other. You think One that's leads stop to the other. Me? You think that's going to stop me? Nothing will ever stop me. That's it. Well, what else happened this week? Oh, I got my flashlight. That showed up this week. I totally <laughs> forgot about that. That happened. That showed up on Did like destroy it already? Wednesday or Thursday. Things pretty resilient. <laughs> Craftsmanship definitely gets a 9 out of 10. It can take a beating. As nice. it were. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, man, it's pretty, it's interesting. That's like the best way to phrase it for sure. It's interesting. The amount of prep involved with using it versus the outcome of using it doesn't really outweigh itself, though. You know what I mean? There's a lot involved with going on with that thing, man. I'm not going to lie. But, can't Not you, like, to. twist the end to, like, adjust, like, suction or some shit? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't do that because it's already terrifyingly suctioning. And, um, That's what I heard. There's only so much a man can take. You know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, I don't think I would want to run myself down into that alley of risk. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a dangerous call. And with the uh, hospitals apparently being overrun, I don't think I'd be first on the list. Help, my dick's caught in my fucking plastic vagina. Well, preachers are used to really tight ones, so. That's true. I don't think they modeled it after anything like that, though. This thing's got, like, a weird... It's got, like, a clitoris built into the tip of it. Like, I'm supposed to tickle it or something. Like, it's gonna like it. You know what I mean? I'm like, this is far too <laughs> detailed, dude. It's very, very, very detailed. It's, like, disturbingly so. And then while browsing the website, I noticed that they had... Uh, they have uh, attachments. Wait for this one. Man. I can't remember the name of the... Um, I think it's called the liftoff. 
You ever seen uh, Brennan? You, yeah, yeah, Brennan. You know about woodworking tools and shit, right? You ever yeah. seen? You ever seen like a like a table planer? Yeah. Yeah, you know those things that like hover. It's like a CNC machine in your hands. Take yeah. that, right? Oh uh, yeah, a little a router. Router, so, yeah, like a table tools. router, like those handheld routers. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean that yeah. you can use. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so take that, right? Take that unit that holds the 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 the, the thing. Take that out. Put a flashlight in it, and instead of making it do this motion. It it stays on your hips, and the thing goes up and down. By its, oh. yeah, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> holy shit! And Amazing. I had I was like, no, this is oh, this doesn't do funny. what I think it does, right? So straight to Pornhub I go to search it up because I had to know how the fuck that worked. It's exactly it what I thought. It? Yeah, it just he but you just fucking strap in, dude. You put your G suit on and you go for a ride. You know what I mean? You pray to God that your blood doesn't cool up in your fucking toes because that shit is gonna take you on a five G <laughs> roller coaster ride, bro. It's it's insane and it has like speed. Is it settings. automatic? Or oh yeah, fully, that? full. All you gotta do, dude, you just fucking plop out your cock and you fucking slip, slip that bitch right on your hips and then bah, 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 bah. that's the noise it makes and shit because it's fucking like terrifying it's fucking <laughs> it's 19 inches tall so it's like you know what i mean so it's like it's like the, not discreet in this list so you have like this giant fucking terminator robot on your hips like bah, 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 just moving this fucking thing up and down just <laughs> like, what the, how do you even come when that's happening you know what i mean just sitting there like staring at it like oh my god if i move this it's gonna snap my dick in half bah, bah, just up and down like so fast you're just locked in for the ride you're gonna like the whole close your eyes dude just think of happy thoughts does it have the red emergency oh. stop button like no, there's oh. there seem to be no safety features involved with this thing in the slightest. <laughs> None, dude. Like any if like if you get like too soft, you know what I mean, and you get that bend action that happens every once in a while, that's not gonna end well. Fucking guarantee that's not gonna end well. There's gotta be some kind of waiver involved when you buy this thing, you know what I mean? That they can't be sued for you purchasing it. But uh yeah, that's a thing they have. They also have this other thing that's basically just a piece of leather that's like a hump with a hole in it. <laughs> That, that you that you stick the flashlight into apparently, and then you and then you fuck that you fuck the hump. Why? Even I think that's a bit devious. <laughs> and I put, like you can just like stuff it between your couch cushions or something. Get oh, the same that, thing. Like an animal, and then you're fucking a couch like some <laughs> like kind of an savage. animal. What are you talking about? Dude? I'm a refined gentleman. I only have sex with the softest Corinthian leathers. <laughs> Oh my god. It says like right in the description too that it's made of pleather. It's not even real leather. <laughs> you know why too? Because you can't get leather wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Oh but, fuck, uh, man. Yeah, so if I was going to rate it out of 10, right? With one being really good and 10 being pretty shit, I'd give it I'd give it like a three. It's, it's pretty yeah. decent for sure. It's pretty good. You went the complete opposite right? of the I like reverse uh, reverse skills are fun you know what I mean I use a reverse intimidation scale too when I'm scared of something like one being petrified and ten being not scared at all <laughs> that's that's one I, yeah, that one fucks people up a lot <laughs> I'm always yeah. ten you're like, I'm always. scared of you you're just like just a one meanwhile one that means you're scared shit is. right it's so good <clears throat> what else was oh, I doing Mario. this week what else was I doing? Oh, I started reading my Bible again. Just my favorite stories. Because there's some fucking good ones in the Bible, dude. You ever... Yeah, man. Thou actually, shalt kneel on blacketh men's necks. Do you, uh, you ever hear the Bible. story of Abraham and Isaac? The, the binding of Isaac? <laughs> when, uh, it's a good one. It's not a long story. That you'll like this. It's fucking great. So Abraham had a wife and they were old, right? And they didn't have any kids. So they're like always like praying to God, like super, super hard. Was her name right? Abraham? I think her name was Mary or some shit. It was some old lady Bible name. Of course it was Fucking Mary. Fucking bullshit name. Was Mary. Abraham they're and Mary Mary's. or something. I can't remember, it's honestly. Mary. But anyways, they had no kid, right? So they're old and they're like praying to God. Like, come on, God, just please give me a kid, man. Like, just that's all. I just want a kid, man. I got to carry this name on. You know what I mean? And then God comes to him and he's like, all right, dude, I'll give you a kid. You just got to make sure that you fucking, you praise me all the time and I'll give you a kid. And he's like, all right, sick, dude. That's, that's his, sounds pretty good. So Abraham has Isaac, right? His son, Isaac. And then he's Abraham fucking super grateful to God. He loves God. You know, he's always praising him. He teaches Isaac to love God. Thinks God's like the Isaac's most fucking, Down syndrome. thinks like God's the most like super rad dude ever that ever existed and shit. Right. So <coughs> he like goes on and Isaac gets older and shit. And then him and Abraham are obviously like real good. They love each other. He loves his son more than anything. Blah, blah, blah. God comes back to Abraham in the middle of the night and he's like, Yo, man, are we, like, really good friends, though? 
And Abraham's like, yeah, man, that's crazy. Like, of course we're really good friends. I think you're a really fucking cool dude, man. And then God's like, do you think I'm like the coolest dude though? And Abraham's like, yeah, I fucking, I think you're the coolest dude ever. He's like, well, you think I'm cool enough that you kill your son for me? And Abraham's yeah, like, yeah. whoa, yeah, like, yeah, that's funny, dude. Like, I uh, killed my <laughs> son, God. You're a fucking, you're a funny dude, God. And God's like, yeah, no, I am pretty funny, but I'm seriously going <laughs> to yeah, need you to yeah. drag your kid up on top Do of it. that mountain, and I'm going to need you to set a fire and burn him to death. And Abraham's like, um, I don't know if I could do that. I've kind of like really grown to love this kid. And he's like, yeah, but like we were bros like back in the day, man. Remember when I gave you that kid? Well, remember this little that? shit came along. Yeah, man. Remember he wasn't here. I was, I was here. You remember that? Remember you prayed and I gave you that kid. Remember I, I gave you, you him. I gave him to you. You owe me. And he's like, you're right. I fucked fuck. your wife and gave you this. That's kid. right. I did that for you, Abraham. God is the ultimate wife fucker. He is. He did it to Mary. He did it to Joseph too. He cupped Joseph. That might and piss he off some Abraham. people. <laughs> yeah, he cupped Joseph right when he fucked Mary. And get Jesus. He fucked a, and he fucked fucking Abraham's wife and gave us Isaac. But uh, yeah, so Isaac gets up in the or fucking Abraham wakes up in the morning afterwards because he's like, you know, he's like, all right, God, I love you. He's like you did give me a son and shit. I do owe you one, I guess. I'll fucking kill my kid for I you. Guess I guess it. I'll kill my kid. So he fucking wakes up in the morning and he gets his servants and then he gets the servants to pack up bundles of wood and coal and he gets these, hey, I, Isaac, Isaac. <laughs> hey, Isaac, buddy. Isaac comes out of the house. Yes, father. And he says, come boy, we're going to go travel to the top of the mountain. The Lord says we need to go up there. We got to go make a sacrifice for him. Come on, bud. We're going to have a good time. I don't know where we're going, but we'll find out when we get there. God will tell us. <laughs> That's what God does. And they start wow. walking. They walk for two fucking days with this, with a donkey <laughs> full of fucking wood and coal no sacrifice to be seen so they finally get to the mountain and he goes come on isaac we're gonna go up to the top god's gonna show us what we gotta do they fucking march up to the top and he starts unloading all the coal and the wood and abraham's like crying and shit and isaac's like what's wrong father why are you so sad father (laughs) and abraham's like don't worry about it bud it's all good everything's gonna be fine (laughs) just building his pile. it's just like that scene in fucking uh uh, i am legend where he has to choke out his dog Oh, yeah, but it's way better because there's no heart involved. And he just (laughs) builds the whole altar out of wood and coal and shit. And then he takes his son and he he fucking explains to his son what has to happen. He's like, well, bud, I got this dude that I knew to know back in college named God. And he kind of made you exist. So I owe him something. And he said that I have to kill you in a burning flame. So I'm going to have to tie your hands up, put you on that pyre and light it on fire, bud. And Isaac's like, all right, I guess that's happening. So that's going down. So he ties up his hands and he puts them on the fucking pyre. And he gets ready. Like, Fuck pulls out this. His fucking, I, Abraham pulls his fucking knife out and he goes to stab him. And a fucking angel fucking swoops out of the... Whoa! Holy shit, dude! <laughs> Wait a minute. He grabs Abraham by the arm. Stop, man! Stop! Holy shit! You were going to fucking stab him! Well, you fucking God, I, you asked me to fucking kill him. Dude, you don't, don't fucking... Don't stab your fucking kid, dude. Don't stab him. Don't. Let him go. It was a test. All right, you fucking passed. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to have a fucking lineage of children. Hundreds of them, okay? Just let your fucking son go. He's like, oh, God, okay. All right, so he unties his kid. And then you know what he does immediately? Immediately at the end of that, he looks slightly to his left, and he sees a, he sees a lamb. And he's like, well, I've already built this pyre, and I have this knife, and I'm already in a stabbing <laughs> mood. So he killed, he fucking stabbed the shit out of the lamb and lit it on fire. And then he walked back down the hill with Isaac and they lived happily ever after. And not once did Isaac question his father's love for him. Right? Like, hey, dude, um, what the fuck? Yeah. And that's, that's the story of Abraham and Isaac. What the fuck was that about, man? Yeah. That's, I think that's Genesis 22. To be fair, it's like a paragraph in the Bible. So I gave you the real fucking extended version there. But, uh. Yeah, that's one of my favorite oh, yeah. ones. Next week we'll have I'll get a I'll get another one. We'll do Samson next week. That's another fucking fun Bible story that makes no goddamn sense. And the one from Footloose that says you're not allowed to dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're doing no we're dancing. Doing, uh, we got to do Samson. Samson's a good story. That's a fucking awesome one. Man who loses his hair and loses all his strength. Got to love the Bible for its sensible stories and morals. Are you losing strength, Martin? It's the basis of fucking Western civilization. No, just hairline. My strength divides from my <laughs> tiny penis. And that can't go anywhere. It's already, like, receding inside of me deeply, so there's no way to get away from that. So we're good to go on that front. What else did Tactical I have all set up? Oh, my God. We, the, the fucking the orchestra that got stuck in the German castle. Did you guys see that article yeah. that linked you? Holy shit. shit. Nope. That's some, like, Scooby-Doo shit. Hold on. I got to find it here. I'll, uh, I'll set it up so everybody can see it. Yeah. One second here. Yeah, that shit is, that's the most ridiculous headline I think I've seen, like, in a, in a fucking year, dude. Okay, so we got that. I got to set up Gerard here. Turn off this one. No, not that one. 
that one. And then, which one is it? It's this one. Okay, Jared goes like this. All right, there we go. Okay, so yeah, so Jared, this fucking article is incredible. The whole, just the headline alone, right? Bolivian orchestra stranded in haunted German castle surrounded by wolves during pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. What That's a movie, fuck? man. Yeah, you That's couldn't write movie. that. Yeah, like there's an, you couldn't make that up, dude. Bolivian orchestra group has been stranded in a German castle for 73 days after the countries closed their borders during the coronavirus pandemic. The musicians, some of whom are as young as 17, arrived in Germany for a spring concert tour just as the COVID-19 crisis was beginning. However, their concerts were soon called off and blah, 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 with blah, 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 social distancing, blah, blah, blah. Since then, the group has been staying at the Reichenberg Palace, a 600-year-old castle located an hour and a half northwest of Berlin. That's prime German territory, dude. That's beautiful. Why? Country. Why would you put them there? Oh, wait, there's a quote. What are these guys, German? I don't know. I can't do it. Our bus broke down on the motorway. I remember joking. This is with the bad luck, and perhaps our concerts would be canceled. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. But I'm going to leave it. Never did I think that that would actually happen, said the one. And then, yeah, they're, now they're staying there. And now they're, they're, uh, there's all these rumors that the place is haunted. And they're like, we all joke that Frederick Ghost is following us and trying to trip us up. I don't usually believe in such things, but it does feel as if there are ghosts on the grounds, said Carmen. Wait, aren't they from Bolivia? <laughs> Same shit. Is there a difference between Bolivians and Germans? I think a lot, dude. That's like what South is? America, Bolivia. <laughs> No, it's not. Bolivia. Yes, it is. It's like by Brazil. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. One second. No, it's not. That's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's in South America. Look, anybody can fucking Google anything to prove anything. All right. <laughs> yeah. Just because. I just remember Country the Bolivia is... special in Top Gear. I don't think you're right. I still. It's I don't think between right. Peru and. Uruguay. Yeah, which is right between Germany and Austria. There's, there's like France. Wait, is it by? <laughs> right? There's like France, right? And then there's Germany, Austria, and then whatever he said right here. I mean, Bolivia, it is touching Argentina. There could be Germans. There's several Germans. <laughs> They're all Germans. Everyone in the world. I'm Their still right, okay, in some super, roundabout so way. Sugar. I'm the quiz master. I'm the host. What I say goes. If you can do a Bolivian accent, then you're more than welcome to read the quote, Brandon. I don't even know what a Bolivian person sounds like. Where are they from? Brazil? Near Brazil? They're I don't even Bolivia. know what a Brazilian person sounds like. Nah, I don't either. Portuguese. I don't think I've ever met a Portuguese person. No, I did. What? I met. Yeah, I did. I did. They were really cool. They gave me lunch. They were they were these roofing guys when I worked in Toronto, and we were like cutting roofing, this lawn. Yeah. Sounds right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were like cutting this lawn, and then uh, they were they were fixing the roof, and then we all had lunch together, and they had really good food. I shouldn't have eaten a stranger's food. Oh, now I'm thinking back to that story. That was I didn't really know those good. guys that at all. Fucking funny. Met these Portuguese guys. They were roofing. Yeah, they were. <laughs> no shit, eh? Yeah, I mean they were quick. No at shit. It. They're like quick at it too. I don't so understand. So good at it. It's like they're just that. Or they Once they the finished restaurant. that, they hopped down and they cemented the driveway, <laughs> like a good gentleman would. You know what I mean? That's just a handy craftsman is all that is. Man, they're just the fuck. They're good at it. They're just undeniable. That's real good. But yeah, I thought that was pretty good. These like poor fucking South Americans, apparently, trapped in fucking Germany. <laughs> South Americans. Yeah, sure. Whatever. South America and Europe. Like. All right, fine. I'll reread the quote with a fucking Bolivian accent, all right? We all joke that Frederick's ghost is following us around, <laughs> trying to trip us up. I don't usually believe in such things, but it does feel as if there are ghosts on the grounds. There, that's Bolivian. Are you fucking happy now? <laughs> I froze in fear, but they were just play fighting and moved on. That's what they're. That's what they said about the wolves when they fucking saw a pack of fucking wolves outside. I froze in fear, but they were just play fighting and moved on. Oh, I didn't realize you were a wolf expert. You know when the yeah. difference is between play fighting and a wild wolf and not play fighting is. Fuck you, you presumptuous piece of shit. You almost died. That's so dumb, dude. <laughs> Presume that shit. Like, I see a bear outside. I'm like, he's just play eating that I'm human. Fine. He doesn't mean it. It's just a game. It's just jokes. He's just playing with him. It's like, Jesus H. Christ, Lord and I. He's just using his head as a ball. Yeah. That's what they do. That's how they show that they like you, dude. But, uh, yeah, that was a good one. There's so many. There were so many fucking goddamn good stories this week. There's a naked Man, guy that stole an ambulance. Trains. 
Yeah, naked guy stole and then an ambulance crashed into a hydrant. Yeah, no, he crashed. Well, there, that's a different one. No, there was two guys this week that stole vehicles naked. The one guy stole oh. an ambulance in Winnipeg, and he crashed it into a fucking Portuguese cultural center. And then the other one was and they uh, all ran out. It was a German a, accent. It was a native uh, Native American woman, <laughs> a, a Native American grandma, and uh, yeah, somebody. A naked man took someone else's vehicle, drove like crazy up the hill, hit the hydrant, comes out of the vehicle, goes down the road, goes back, takes... Okay, that's a lot of quote. Basically, he drove like crazy and smashed the car into stuff. <laughs> it took her a long time to say fucking nothing in that sentence. But yeah, so we had two naked people stealing two separate oh, vehicles. Nobody's talked to her in like 40 years. It's pretty... Fu- yeah, that's fair. She's been trapped on that. All her reserve. family died. <laughs> but yeah, so... Uh, yeah, Here, two lady, different... take this blanket. Two different naked people crashing two different vehicles into two different things all in the same week. That's a pretty busy week. That's a good time. Yeah, the drunk man. And drifting neither of them were in Florida. Yeah, they're both in Canada. That's the coolest part. I'm sure if you search naked man car, Florida, you'll get like 20 of them. You'll find a lot of results that you probably didn't want to find, though, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, the one was in BC and the one was in Winnipeg. So no one really that close to home, but... Um, Still pretty good. Oh, yeah, there was a Taiwanese guy that stole a bunch of shoes and jerked off in them. He stole 126 huh? pairs of flip-flops from his neighbors in the apartment building and he had, so he could have sex with them and then got caught. And then the pictures oh. were my favorite part. The pictures are like they have the, the 126 pairs of flip-flops laid out like a police drug bust like they do when they find key yeah. cocaine. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, and they're all arranged by like color and oh shit like that. Oh my god! Like, yeah, so they're like, and then they got the guy like, oh yeah, there. right there. Yeah, and they got the guy like sitting there in his mask, like all ashamed of himself. They're like, this is the guy that jerked off in your shoes. That's the guy. Shame Everyone. him. Shame. Oh, oh, man, there was that uh, those people that stole that train, <laughs> like yeah. that, like that little like children's train oh, in the middle of the riot or down the street. That was amazing, dude. That was fucking they spectacular. Stole a fucking train, yeah. like a mall train. Yeah, like you know those little trains that they have in the mall, Jared, that they ride kids around. In? Oh yeah. Yeah, someone just stole yeah. it, just out of the mall, and was just like <laughs> they're just driving it down the street. And it was like packed with people and shit. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> it being oh, all like gangster and shit. The one dude's like standing up out yeah. of it and the stuff. The one guy in like, the front's fucking like fucking. Move. Oh, like Brian on the front. I, really I was like, this like, is amazing, dude. Just like oh, so, so proud. Good. It's like literally the proudest moment. Like, if that was me, that'd be like oh, my good. life's highlight. You know what I mean? Like, uh, if if uh, when I die and the, and the little thing is playing at my funeral, that's what's gonna go on loop over and over again. Just me like riding that stolen fucking mall train down the road in the middle of a riot. The <laughs> that's some like next level <laughs> fucking ball and shit right there, dude. Most impressive. But, uh, yeah, man. Anybody else got anything else they want to bring up? Any other topics? Oh, Jason. Guten Tag. What's up, my friend? You hear the, uh, they're opening drive-ins tomorrow? Oh, are they? Oh, okay. Kieran, uh, like Kieran had to go. He had to take off early, so now you're stuck with us three fucking retards. So you gotta enjoy that one. Have fun with that. <laughs> but they're opening uh, drive-ins tomorrow? Yeah, dude. That's pretty sweet. I really don't think they should ever close drive-ins. You just sit in your car to drive in. That seems like a pretty exactly. socially distant, safe thing to do. Speaking of drive-ins, yeah. Burt Kreischer is doing a drive-in tour where he's going to do comedy shows at drive-ins. That's cool. And he'll like he goes to them and then they'll project them on the screen. And you can like listen and watch from your car. It's a good thing that screen's like extra, extra. Like that's like twenty-four by nine wide. <laughs> the fat joke. It can fit because he's giant. It can fit all of them. He loses every weight loss challenge ever applicable, his, and all his, is full of his Instagram stories are hilarious. He's like, "Just ran seven miles, gonna run another five later," and then like at night times, like just destroyed this bag of double stuff Oreos. That's amazing. Well, That's like exactly. So much you want to run. It's like I have my oh, it's on in my other in my bedroom, but I have like a little chart with like I've been like writing down like workouts every day. You know what I mean? Like the do like this many push ups, sit ups, blah blah blah, and shit. And then, like, yeah, and then at the end of the night, I'm like, time to drink five beers and eat an entire box of cheese nibs. Nice. And I'm like, why yeah. can't I lose any weight? Bah, my man boobs are soft and gross. Bah. And then I just sit there, blah, 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 eat the entire box of cheese nibs like the sweaty fuck I am. So good. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp, dude. That's His one best. story was fucking hilarious. He's like, he's like, just got two bags of Oreos. He's, and he has, like, beside his chair in his living room where they sit and watch movies with the family. He has, like, a dresser, kind of. So yeah, he opens yeah. the one drawer and puts Oreos in. He's like, this is going to be awesome. You know? And then he's like, that, that story is from in the morning. And then, like, I checked his stories at night just to see 
uh, shows him like opening it and just eating an Oreo. And his kids are like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> he's like, "It was worth it." <laughs> and like, "Where'd you get Oreos?" And I was like, "I planted them here like ten hours ago." <laughs> That's amazing. Like, what a genius! <laughs> right, you clever motherfucker. Yeah, it's been a pretty uh, pretty slow week for like any kind of news other than like obviously all the the craziness that's yeah. happening in fucking Minneapolis. Yeah, a lot um, of COVID and riot news. Yeah, COVID and riot and cops fucking kneeing dudes to death. Holy Christ. What a yep. fucking, what an awful time, dude. That is, that whole thing is just absolutely fucking disgustingly insane. Yeah, that was fucked up. That was I, uh, fucked, man. I, I usually don't I kind of like get... neglected to watch like any of the stuff just because yeah, like, you, I got, know, you um, know what I mean, whatever. But like I did catch a like, piece of the one clip and he's literally just like kneeling on him for like 10 minutes he's fucking dead dude like Like he was literally just dead six minutes into that clip you know what i mean it's like are you fucking like oh my good lord and then when uh as soon as i like watched or checked the news the next day and i saw that they were like burning down the police precincts i was like so filled with like justice you know what i mean and Mm. like i don't know like like that weird uh, vindicated joy where i'm like yeah get him dude you know what i'm saying fucking right that's like that is yeah. that was probably the most deplorable thing I think I've ever seen. You know what I mean? Like when it comes to like a policeman's interaction with yep. anybody, that was well. Did you hear? Awful. He's killed. Dude. He's been in three yeah. other incidents where people were killed, and they're all black guys. I have I've heard like that he's been involved. I haven't heard like the exact numbers, but I heard that he was involved with like several other instances of like yeah, it was like two thousand three, two thousand eight, two thousand eleven. Yeah, but apparently they're all it's, like apparently it wasn't just all like black people either though. Like apparently this guy's just a fucking psychopath. Like he's, he's just like, he does this with kid. fucking like a, you know what I mean? Like he's insane. He's shit to like, everyone. Yeah, he's a fucking psycho. But now it's just finally, you know what I mean? He's actually killed somebody now, you know what I mean? And, like, got caught for it finally, like, red fucking handed. It's like, that was, yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah, but, like, obviously all the uh, the rioting and shit is, like, totally understandable. I can, like, mm. totally understand people's reaction in that sense. I think I would be doing the exact same thing if I was fucking living this down there. This is, like, there, like, the Baltimore foot times 10. Yeah, well, this is, like, uh, th- I don't think there's ever been an instance like this that was so fucking cut and dry. You know what I mean? Where it was like that, like every other, like not every other one, obviously. I'm not fucking speaking like I know everything about every instance that's ever happened. You know what I mean? Everyone that I've seen, sorry, I should say, is always like, like you can like see a weird skepticalness to it. You know what I mean? Where it's like, okay, that was kind of sketchy how he like grabbed at his glove box. You know what I mean? Or like shifted and went for his waistband. It's like, yeah, okay, probably shouldn't do that with cops. They're, it's not going to go well for anybody. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But this time, it's just like the dude is on the ground, already fucking handcuffed, with you driving your knee into the back of his neck. It's like there's no question involved yeah. with that. Like, just move your knee down to his back. Yeah. Like if you're gonna literally get off his neck. That's like that's the most disgusting thing ever, dude. That's so unnecessary. You think you're like restraining a human by putting your fucking knee on their neck? Yeah. That's like I thought they even knew that that um like that that position and like holding them like that and putting the knee on the back is already bad enough and it can make people yeah, stop breathing from what and I've die, seen, let alone putting it on their fucking neck. There's uh like, there's a YouTube guy that I watch and he's like a former cop or whatever and he does like police yeah. breakdowns and he was like talking about that and he's like that like on the very most fundamental level is a complete failure of uh of tactic you know what i mean he's like yeah never ever 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 should you put your knee on someone's neck you know what i mean regard he's like sure sometimes if somebody's struggling you might like slip you know what i mean but he's like mm-hmm. then you recover and you pull your fucking knee off their neck you don't ever put your fucking knee on someone's neck you know what i mean yeah he's like, that's how you fucking kill someone which is exactly yeah like unless like, this guy's trying like, to turn a gun on you and fucking shoot you or well, something even that, like, unless he was like fighting way. back or it's something, not even an like... effective way to restrain someone though like yeah knee on the back of the neck you know what i mean like it, no that's, that's not enough that's how you fucking hurt <laughs> what somebody. control yeah exactly like the what controls reason... you have with your knee right there like right. You're, you're... it's like the only reason that fucking poor guy couldn't do anything is because he was already cuffed you know what i mean and like yeah. god knows what happened when they cuffed him they probably kicked the shit out of him too you know what I mean? Yeah. So he's probably already yeah. fucking winded and everything. So it's not like he can fucking resist. But yeah, no, just drive your fucking knee in there, you piece of shit and murderer. But yeah. I guess they uh, finally arrested him. Finally. Yeah. After, what, four fucking three days or some shit? Like, but yeah, so they finally got his fucking murdering ass in custody. So, um. But now people still want the other three guys that were just watching. Rightfully arrested. so. Like, you know what I mean? They're, they're accessories to murder. Just Like, if I fucking strangled someone to death, right? And you two were standing by watching I'm me just do it. Standing there, like, oh. You're accessories to murder. Yeah. Like, that's how that works. You know what like I mean? Actually like, actually, back stopping other people, like, no, 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 let them do it. Yeah, let no, them do no, it. No, 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 don't get involved. No, don't, let them no, go. No, don't let them go. Don't get involved. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, you are a fucking accessory like, to murder, sir. I don't, I don't give yeah. a fuck. But no. How yeah, about no. that, uh, CNN crew? 
that guy got arrested. Oh, I just <clears> vaguely <throat> saw that like before we started the fucking podcast. That was that was so, crazy. They just like straight arrested. Yeah, it was like the whole yesterday crew. morning. It's funny because they talked to the one guy in the crew beforehand. He was a white dude, and they're like, "Oh, you're good." And then when it was like the black dude, they're like, "What are you doing here?" need to move over here and like okay where should we move and like you're under arrest like like, even even the video i saw like when the black guy was talking to them he was like yeah he's like um he's like oh you know we're just trying to get out of your way we saw you coming through the intersection so just let us know where you want us to go and then it was like the cop was like didn't know what the fuck you know what i mean because he was like just go over there and like two minutes later he's fucking arresting the guy yeah it's like what Mm -hmm. what the the fuck like You just told him to move. Like, he, he, get the fuck, dude. He was the most, like, courteous guy ever. You know what I mean? He's like, no, we just we, we want to be out of your way. You know what I mean? Wherever you want us to go, we'll go, man. Like, no trouble. Like, what the fuck, dude? That's the most amicable yeah. you could possibly be. Like, I'm pretty sure you didn't need to cuff that guy, even at very least, if you felt like you needed to physically move him. You probably could have just asked him. You know what I mean? He'd be like, yeah. okay, man, you mind coming over here? Yeah, sure. Sorry, sir. You know what I mean? Like, seem pretty fucking polite. I don't, I don't know. There's so much fucking, like... <laughs> bullshit questionability with policing when it comes to that fucking that whole situation it's like that whole department needs to be fucking washed dude that's yeah. that is well horrible. you remember that video that dude uh standing there with his rifle there's not even a magazine in it oh my god the, <laughs> the guy's just laughing you, you ain't got a magazine you in got it. magazines in your guns what the fuck are you gonna do <laughs> he's just yeah. laughing at them and shit like, what type it of was, intimidation factor is that supposed to be F- like you F- know that no, there's it nothing was, it was the national guard when they deployed the National Guard on the first night, they oh. were all standing there with empty ma- like empty weapons. It was just supposed yeah. to be like an intimidation factor, right? Just to be like, yeah, we're here. Um, but yeah, it was just funny because like nobody took this. Like, yeah, but with no loaded weapons. Yeah, they're like... standing there with like their rifles in like a. You just have position. metal sticks with you right now. Yeah, is like, all you have. Like, two feet from them, be like, y'all ain't even got any magazines in that motherfucker. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? They're all just like the whole crowd oh just laughing God. in their faces and shit. I'm like, oh, this is not. That's that doesn't seem how you seem to be the way to grab authority. That, that doesn't seem to be working for you. Like, Jesus Christ. You see that Trump, that fucking tweet that fucking Trump put out? That maniac? When the looting starts, the shooting starts? Yeah. Why would you Fuck. say that? What? Why would you say that? Okay. That's literally what he said. He's like, he was, it was long-winded, but he was like, you know what I mean? He's like, the governor has the full support, blah, blah, blah. He's like, I'm sending in the National Guard. And then the, the very last thing was, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Fuck. Like, are you fucking serious right now? But that? Then there's like, this tweet from a couple weeks ago when all those people, protesters with guns, are like standing at Parliament. He's like, these are good guys, good American citizens. They're just fighting for their rights because they're white people. His like choice you of all... words in every situation is like leave <laughs> so yeah, much to be desired. Man. You imagine how like successful he would be if he just fucking hired a PR person and listened to them. You know what I mean? And just shut the fuck up. Like, stop tweeting John Stewart at three in the morning. Stop saying that there's good people on both sides. Stop that. Stop doing that. You know what's that. hilarious? I'm John Stewart is a right. pussy bitch who would stand no chance against me in a debate. That was at 3.30 in the fucking morning. You know what I mean? After like Dude, he also always deletes shit, too. There's this site, uh, or there's this thing I just found. It's like fact-based on whatever topic slash deleted tweets. Donald Trump deleted tweets. 858. It's got them all listed here Amazing. with fucking pictures of everything. That's hilarious. That's so good. They're just like, oh, nice. Try to fuck that one up, you piece of shit. He's just lying in bed with his Diet Coke and McDonald's. Still <laughs> got all of it. Oh my God. <laughs> so that's, funny, dude. that's hilarious, yeah. But yeah, just like, he's just so, like, you just need, like, a PR person to just tell you to shit. Donald, go to bed. Hey. It's <laughs> four in the morning. I need, I need to tell this little motherfucker that he knows who he's fucking with. He needs to understand. I'm the best. Go to bed, Donald. Go to sleep. We told you. I just I just don't think it's right. I need to respect. Go to sleep. Go to, go to bed. Go. All right, fine. Fine, I'll go to bed. He puts his little gold-toed slippers on. <laughs> Drags himself into his presidential bed. <laughs> fucking amazing. What a life to live, though. You have a giant tower. There's just a huge penis in the middle of a city with your name on the top of it. And then you get to rule the world. What a fucking life, dude. <laughs> I'll be back in one second here. It's all good, Brandon. I think we might even... Uh, why don't we just call it, man? Yeah, I was going to say, do we want to maybe call it? Yeah, um, we've been going for like an hour oh, 20. Shit. All right. Cord. Let's call it. That's man, a good this run, like 10-mile cord that I have for my headphones, it's really convenient for, you know being forever able to move around yeah, but yeah. holy shit does it get caught on everything yeah mine used to be long it, like that is it, it the yao ming over. signature fucking headphone cord <laughs> <laughs> reaches all distances 
all right boys yeah that was fun though i think i think it was pretty yeah. good thanks to anybody yeah, that uh, that was watching and shit uh, i guess uh yeah. jared won trivia yeah jared's our victor for the evening uh, for Jared, you get to, uh, i kind of like seconds. that style though the way it was like super quick you yeah know i like that I mean? one like, kind of like lightning round kind of it I wasn't agree. so like yeah, yeah like so time much downtime with it if i was yeah, more professional so. i'd set up a way that i could have like a uh, timer and shit but i'm not so mm. you know yeah you know i can uh, i can i can half host and half produce that's what Hell we get yeah. that's what we get but uh yeah that's it i think so yeah anybody that uh, was watching thanks for watching we love you um have a good week we'll see you next week adios